The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Tim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man, yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. And December 13th, Friday the 13th, pretty wild. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow up one, NASDAQ up 19, S&P's up one and a half. Gold contract up $8.70, trading at 1480 an ounce. You get silver up six cents, $17 and a penny. Light sweet crude up 85 cents, $60, three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year up 19 ticks, 128.31. The 30 year up a point and 11 ticks at 158.04. And King Dollar. King Dollar up 109 ticks, trading 97, 187. The Euro is at 111. The Yen is at 109.39. And the Pound is at 133 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get a flat market out here, folks. You've had a highly volatile market out here today. There's no two ways about that. Uh, bottom line is that you've had a spread inside the S&P of uh, 30 points. 56. Yeah. Uh, 29 points to be exact. Um, and, you know, that's, <laughs> that's to have a flat market, it's, that's highly volatile, no doubt. We started off today, you get down, uh, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning, we were down into this uh, 3162 area. You get a big pop. We popped all the way up to 3184, which, uh, 885, which is a high for the day. Uh, the low of the day came in at 1120. That's down there at that 3156. Right now, you're at that 3169. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX, and was moving this market around, of course, folks, is that, you have, well... Yeah, let, let's just go through this first, and we'll get into the, the aspect of uh, what do we have move, moving it around. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX, what we have with the NDX. NDX also had quite a day out here. High of 85.23, low of uh, 84.35. Right now, you're laying, laying out here at 84.96. So the market's trying to digest, folks, okay? Just, uh, well just exactly what is inside the trade deal and what isn't inside the trade deal. And those details actually are not out here right now. Uh, now, I expect what we're going to see over the weekend, unless, unless they're just going to keep saying, hey, it's a great deal, and we're not going to see it, um, bottom line, it's going to come out at some point, and it doesn't, uh, and, and we'll find out. But right now, what I think is so cool is that what we had out here last night was this, yesterday, rather. Yesterday, what you had is that it was coming out, the deal is done, everything's in place, and what did that do? That, no doubt, that sent the S&Ps to new all-time highs, took out their all-time highs, had a large day, there's no, no two ways about that, in, inside the marketplace in general. We come into this morning, bottom line, things are still going the exact same way, meaning good. Now what you had is that, what you have is this. The way that the market traded yesterday is to me saying, okay, all the news is out. You, you have the supposedly phase one trade deal with China. 
And the phase one trade deal with China, you know, we'll find out exactly what is in it. But it, at this particular point, uh, it doesn't look to me like there's, uh, <laughs> there's anything uh, in it that is that hadn't been in it before, that before we even started these the deals. Uh, it looks like they're, they're going to, let's see, the deal announced hinges on China increasing purchase of American farm goods, such as soybeans and pork. Um, we'll see if that gets in writing, because all the articles so far are saying that that is not in writing inside the contract. In return, if that's the case, Trump has agreed to some existing, to reduce some existing tariffs by 15 percent, uh, having 15 percent duties on 120 billion goods, but maintain a 25 percent levy on 250 billion of Chinese goods. Um, you know, my, my point more than anything, folks, is that the news, the news is out and it doesn't look like there's much news. That's, that's what it really comes down to. So gold. Well, actually, let's go to the oil market first, because what we have with oil, oil is pushing the $60 mark. Uh, it looks to me that you are going to test the spike high that we had out here. And the spike high inside the marketplace is 61.48. That's the number. Right now, we've reached uh, 60.48 out here today. So it's another dollar. That, is the, that was the day that the um, Saudi oil fields uh, basically got blown up. Bottom line, the day before, we were trading at $53. Uh, this was a sad day that it happened. Sunday, when the oil opened up, was at 61.48 and then just gave it up and came all the way down to $50. So monster number. No two ways about that. Notes and bonds, bottom line, they just continue to want higher price, uh, lower yield. This is, quite a, this is quite a move inside the note and bond market, folks, once again. Uh, what we had with the 30-year, the 30-year never made it down to the lower end of the consolidation, which is 155. We made it to 155.23. Rejected lower price, took off like a rocket ship again, Bottom line is that, uh, you know, you know we, when the Fed did come out with their statement this week, it was dovish beyond belief. The Powell's interview, uh, news conference, same deal. It seemed like no matter what was asked, the bottom line, the Fed was going to take care of it. And there's no reason not to believe it. So that's saying that we still have higher price Lower yields coming at us. Right now, the 10-year is at 1.82. Some of the higher volume equities out here, and this is going to be another low volume market, which is pretty intense in the aspect that we did have volatility out here. You get uh, GE down 7 cents. You get Micron Tech uh, up 19. Apple's up 3 bucks. I believe Apple's going to close at all-time highs for the uh, week also because that just reached another one. Yeah, it reached another one today. Yeah, so Apple's going to close at all-time highs for the week. Big number. Now, what's intriguing about that, it's like if the, the NDX really doesn't have any juice and Apple is still the largest waiting structure inside it, it's like that means the rest of the uh, NQs there actually have a lot of weakness in them. Dow, Dow Industrial's up five, NASDAQ up 18, S&P's up one and a half. We'll come right back. Yeah.